But in 2023, several researchers whose paper you can find right here proposed and calculated something entirely different. Here, according to these new calculations, you didn't actually even need to have a black hole event horizon to produce these very bizarre Hawking radiation effects. Or just to rephrase this, according to them, this unusual evaporation also happened around anybody with any mass. In other words, event horizon was not required to create Hawking radiation. And pretty much all objects, even objects with much lower mass, would also produce Hawking radiation, but just maybe not as efficiently. You can learn more about this in a study in the description and also in a video from 2023 in the description below. But in a nutshell, their conclusion was that gravity and the curvature of space-time itself causes Hawking radiation no matter what it is. Once again, it could be a blue whale, the Great Pyramid of Giza, or you and I. So anything that contains mass and anything that creates a kind of a curvature in space-time will also start evaporating over time. But just like with black holes, it would be an extremely slow process. Nevertheless, here in this study, Michael Wondrak and his team definitively showed that you can actually create these new particles and drain energy from any object, even far beyond any horizon. And so technically this was not Hawking radiation, but some kind of a new form of radiation that everything around us seems to produce. Although here the radiation would be absolutely minuscule. As a matter of fact, if applied to a human, it would take a typical human body approximately 10 to the power of 90 years to completely evaporate. So basically 1 followed by 90 zeros, or almost Google years. Google is the word that refers to 1 followed by 100 zeros. Although surprisingly, according to their calculation, even the moon would take just as much. So basically here, both the moon and the human body seems to create these Hawking-like radiation particles at approximately the same rate. Now, obviously though, this is super theoretical because here, most of the particles in our bodies and most of the particles on the moon are actually going to change entirely in the next few billions of years, with many potentially becoming something else and many potentially becoming pure energy. And so here, this is just an assumption based on mass. But in this recent study, they decided to take this idea just a little bit further and decided to calculate how long it would take for most of the objects in the entire universe to completely evaporate, making the universe just pure energy. With the main assumption being that at the end, we really should have things like neutron stars, black holes, and white dwarfs, and possibly nothing else. 